Well, there's a perceptible change in mindset here, both in terms of crowd and players. You know, Peter, it's the suddenness that I love when you get to this phase of the competition. The suddenness in which you can find yourself in a good position or the suddenness in which you can, it can go against you. That introduces drama, which creates great excitement, and ultimately, you get a much more entertaining show. the whistle Jim, which player is best equipped for this game well someone I can see as being very powerful in midfield Peter is Leon Goretzka his build and strength being the obvious assets but also the uh, the covering and the energy he puts into his game that makes him the perfect foil to the more traditional central playmaker and it's a role that he's often deployed in too yeah, I'd have picked him too, no doubt the fans feel much the same way. Ericsson, interesting ball. Shot goal! Goal! Denmark! And Denmark score first! Yeah, to see it unfold as succinctly as that, it, it looks telepathic. Denmark, they have what they wanted, the first breakthrough. I think they've gone about their business with the opener very much in mind, and this augurs well now. Cross is blocked, and that's a corner. Delaney. Denmark are clearly looking to use the space at the flanks here. With a view to, to what exactly, Jim? Well, it can encourage the fullbacks to get involved and increase their chances of more service into the box. Now it's Havertz. Goretzka. Now then, the ball's come loose. Can he latch on to this? Good challenge, excellent challenge. Germany, corner number two then. Great chance! Oh, that is rather wayward. That's a throw. Ericsson has created one goal already. Havertz. Oh, he's had it taken off him. Does pay off here. Nice bit of trickery. And it's Ericsson. And he cuts out the supply. Good the one. Havertz. Looking for options for movement. Can he finish? It's in! Germany are all square. Well, he 
his movement is all based on fine margins and the timing of his run then was ideal. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Oh, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was kicked, and uh, I still haven't moved. Nice physical challenge. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Well, he can't say now that he hasn't been warned. He just needs to find the control button on his aggression before the ref does it for him, Peter. Great defending, strong and determined. He is through here! Cross deflected behind for a corner. Eriksen moves short. Germany can start a counter here. And it's Gundogan. Mela. Christensen. Nelson. Looking to hit the front line. Ginter cuts out the pass. Havertz, now it's Hoffman. Good spot, he's seen the run. Could have been dangerous, but it came to nothing. Hoiberg. Vince. Gets away from his opponents. And here's Ericsson. And the referee brings the first half to a close. A pretty decent watch this, and each side has contributed in equal part. A couple of very good goals for the crowd to enjoy, and a game which is right on the edge. At half-time, it's one inch. Some first-half thoughts. Well, we thought this would be close, Peter, and it's, it's proving us right so far. They're well matched, and it, it presents a, a fascinating battle of wits to see who will emerge on top or, or otherwise. Germany head into the dressing room after a half in which we've seen two goals, one each, and the game right on edge. And the game has already resumed here. They get a throw in. The ball is loose, and the chase is on. Hoffman, Havertz, and it's Goretzka. Musiala really added the width there, thanks to his willingness to make the run. Danger averted for now. Back in possession and ready to go again. It's loose, and there's a race for the ball. And he's in on goal, big chance! Goal, Germany! And the comeback is complete! Look, that was a, a technical interaction of great football. That has gone down a treat.
Germany go into the lead. Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back of it. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. Oh, they could break here. Hoffman. Interesting here, Jim, how the defence seems to have really retreated over the last few moments. Yeah, it's impossible to, to keep it up for forever in terms of the pressing we've seen from them. And I think the opposition... Hammonds! Oh, nearly, but really it's nothing. Delaney. now and to be honest Peter this is what's required there is an irresistible irrepressible look about them here well the question now is whether they can sustain it the referee has given a corner Germany have their third corner And now they can spring out of defence. And back to the goalkeeper. Gunter. Shifted upfield. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. And it's played forward. Inter gets across to intercept that. Well, there's plenty to like about this approach. Get your head down, keep battling away, and eventually things might change for you. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Osterman. Opts to play it back. It's Gundogan! Oh, taken with style! Two ahead, late in the day, game over surely. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, Peter, I think the keeper knew straight away he was never going to get to it. Time for a change in personnel. Well, to wait until now to make this change seems a bit baffling. He's expecting the miraculous to turn this around from here. So the lead now is two. Inter gets over and intercepts. Rapidly approaching the end. Denmark are staring a first-round exit in the eye. But it's Heuberg, and he has been fouled there. the one into the last five minutes no unnecessary risks and the game is petering out here Musiala 
That's a throw. Denmark making consecutive changes here. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. And back to the keeper they go. Gunter. Sané. Hoiberg. That's an inviting looking ball, that. Oh, no question, that's a foul. 